in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a grouped bar chart in Excel. So, to do this, you first want to make sure that your data is set up properly, because that way, you, that way Excel will recognize it as different groups. So, for example, we have product 1 as a first group, product 2 as a second group, and product 3 as a third group. And with each of these, we're going to have a bar for income, expense, and profit. So we're going to have each group with three different bars. And you want to make sure that your data is grouped in some way, shape, or form where you have one overarching layer and then it branches down to a second layer like this. Then you're going to want to highlight the stuff. You want to make it to a chart. So I'm just going to use keyboard shortcuts. So shift right arrow and then shift down arrow. Now we're going to go to the insert tab. And we're just going to click recommend the charts right here under the charts grouping. So here you can see the first chart that we see that's recommended to us is the grouped bar chart, kind of like what we're thinking. Um, but for me, I like to go click all charts just to kind of see my chart options. So you can see column chart right here, or you can see if, if you want it to be vertical, but if you want it to be horizontal, you can click bar chart. So column chart, and you can also click your options to see what you would might want to be best. So you have a stacked column chart that shows the different pieces. You can have them for the, they're the same height as well. You can have them be three dimensional, which is kind of cool. Stacked and three dimensional like this. You can have them to be um, showing different parts where they're the same height. Or you can have them be like three dimensional more ways than one and with this fancy thing right here. For this situation, I'm going to use the 3D ones as well as the uh, these stack charts right here. We're going to click OK. And now as you can see, I have a three dimensional um, grouped bar chart right here. And we can also edit this in a variety of ways. So you can click the plus right here. And you can click access title, and then you can click the access title and type stuff, a product for example, and format this in some similar way that you would text. So you can highlight this, go home. You know, you can change the color to be green if you wanted to, maybe red, green, for example. Uh, gonna make it back to black. You can change the size. And make it bold, control B, as well as change the fonts to in the direction if you chose to do so. Going to control Z to get that back. You can also change the fill, and as well as just a variety of different options that you can use to adjust the um, axis. You can also go ahead and add data labels. So by adding a data label, you will then see, you know, okay, for every single bar, you will see the income, expense, and profit as well for each one. You can also add a data table, which in this instance looks kind of sloppy, but if you're only trying to show a few items, then this is great. You can degrade group, take out grid lines, keep them. You can eat click legend as well too and take it out like that you can also edit a lot of these things so for example legend you can have it at the left bottom more options whatever choose your fancy you can also edit the color so click right here for chart styles and you can just select a pre-made chart style so you can you know be fancy pick something that you would pick one of these pre-made chart styles that you think would fit your Needs better. Like this is kind of cool. You can change your colors too. Blue, blue, red. Let's just say you use this blue, just because I think it's interesting. Or this green, just because I think it's interesting. And yeah, this is just kind of to show that you can format your charts in any sort of way that your heart's desired. And like so, even has some different pre-made options. You can also use chart filters, and you can go ahead and edit the data that you want. So you can choose to hide things by clicking these boxes. 
you can choose to get rid of different categories. Take them out or leave them in. Or you can select the data right here for even more functionality. So, for even more functionality and more flexibility in how you want things to be labeled and worded. With that said, I hope you found this to be a useful introduction to how to make a grouped bar chart in Excel. Like, subscribe, comment. You know, goals to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. So, and any support is extremely helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Hope that you have a great day.